Someone's praying, Lord, Kumbaya. Someone's praying, Lord, Kumbaya. Someone's praying, Lord, Kumbaya. Good morning, guys. So our story today happens when Jesus is on his way to Jerusalem to die. His disciples don't really know that. And he stops at the town of Bethany where he's got some great friends, some of his best friends, a guy named Lazarus whom Jesus had raised from the dead. Can you imagine that? He had died and he was in the grave. And three... Several days later, Jesus came and visited and called him out. Whoa. So Lazarus is there, and, and, and it's hosted at Lazarus' home, and his sisters, Martha and Mary, are there. And there are people from the town there, and they're having a party, a feast. And in the middle of the feast, Mary, who's one of Lazarus' sister, gets out something really precious that she has. It is like about a pound of nard, a very special and expensive perfume. She gets it out and she uses it to anoint Jesus' feet. She puts it all over his feet. And she wipes his feet with her hair. Ew. You. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, in the ancient world, the way people touched each other was a little different than we do today. They were different sets of rules. But this was a strange thing to do. Even then, it was strange. Judas, who's one of Jesus' disciples, and he was the treasurer for all the disciples, G Judas said, why didn't she take this and sell it so we could give the money to the poor? Now, the guy writing, writing the, the story down for us says, Judas didn't just say this because he wanted to be generous to the poor. Judas said it because he, he was a treasurer and he took some of the money for himself. Uh. Jesus said, don't get on her case. She's done a beautiful thing for me that will always be remembered. She's preparing me for my burial. He says you'll always have the poor to take care of, which is a reminder that's important for us to do. Now, it's a strange story that like Jesus said, we always tell. It's an important one. Jesus is getting ready for his death and nobody understands that. But it's a reminder that Jesus came so that he could die. And again, I don't understand all of that. But that's what the story tells us. It also reminds us of something else that's really powerful. And that is giving a gift that makes no sense. Have you ever seen somebody do something that just made no sense at all? Yeah, most of the time when we do something that makes no sense, it's not a good idea. Right? Because it makes no sense. Do you know how much that perfume was worth that she put on Jesus' feet? All of it. Do you know how much it was worth? Almost a whole year's income. Think of how much money your mom or dad could make in one year. And imagine all of that being given away in one extravagant gift. That's pretty incredible, isn't it? And Jesus said she did a beautiful thing. Extravagant and even senseless generosity sometimes is exactly what God appreciates. Because that's what God is like. God gives to us so incredibly. It doesn't make any sense. Will you guys pray with me? And I want to invite you to do something different when we pray. Last week, I invited everybody to pray like this. You might remember. This week, I'm going to ask you to pray like this. You know what you do? You kind of make a pretzel with your arms and your shoulders. You know what else you do is you're making a cross. And you're making a, an embrace, a hug. God is, that's the cross, right? So you got the cross, and God is hugging you with the cross. Will you guys repeat after me? Dear God, we thank you for Jesus. We thank you for his love for us. We thank you that he died for us on a cross. 
We thank you for Mary and her crazy gift. Help us to give to you just like her. Amen. Amen. All right, guys. Now we.